I'm Nancy Creedon. I'm a certified dog trainer and behavior consultant. And in this video, I want to show you the steps that I use to crate train a dog so that the dog really enjoys being in their crate, doesn't panic, doesn't fear the crate, and it now becomes a safe haven where that dog can retreat to. So the three stages, so first off is the first impressions count. What we do here is we do a little bit of reverse psychology and trick your dog into wanting to get into the crate. So what I want you to do is set up the crate when the dog is not around so that they don't get a fright from any banging or anything like that. Pop out an old towel underneath the, the tray of the crate and that will stop any kind of wobbling or funny noises as well. Put your dog's bed into the crate and then, this is the trick, put something really nice and really smelly in there. So hot dog, warmed up hot dog, cheese, bits of chicken that's warm, everything that's going to be nice and smelly and really get the dog wanting to go in. What you're going to do is close the doors of the crate and then call your dog into the room. So now the dog can explore the crate, smell amazing treats inside the crate, but they can't get in. So you're going to reverse psychology them so they want to get into the crate but can't. I give them a few, maybe 20 seconds to really sniff about and, and get excited about the crate. And then what you're going to do is ask them to sit and then as a reward for doing a sit, they get to go into the crate. So now, yay, going into the crate is a treat. Open the doors of the crate, let them go in, let them really enjoy their food. While they're in the crate and enjoying the food, close the door. Just before they finish it, open the door again. So they get closed into the crate, but only while they're enjoying their food. So make sure when you're setting up the crate that the dog is not in the room. You so the tray part, you're going to put the towel underneath. Now, so what you want to do next is put your dog's bedding into the crate. So, so once you have the bedding in, you want to put in your treats. So we've got nice, tasty, hot, warm, smelly hot dog and a little bit of cheese in here. So we know she's going to like that. Um, so you're going to put that in towards the back of the crate so that when they do go in, she'll go in the side door and we want her to go in as far as she can. And um, what you can put in as well is their toys, things that they like so that again, it smells good. Everything good is inside in here. Um, smelly old toys so that they've been used and if you want if your dog's extra shy try popping their lead in as well because the lead equals good times um, so we want them to think the crate equals good times so lock up the crate lock both doors and go get your dog this will be their very first impression of being in the crate you want to go in good girl sit good girl Good girl. So once they go in, good girl. Make sure she's all the way in and close the crate door until they're finished having their treats. So make sure that she comes out um, before she wants to come out, basically, so that she wants to get back in. Good girl, Meg. Open both doors so that in case she panics, she can get out quickly. Now, Meg, come on out. Good girl. And then close up again straight away so that they can't go back in. Meg, come here. Good girl, you come out. Good girl now so that's stage one first impressions I want to be in there next we're going to do the in and out stage so what we want to do here is have lots of treats lots of little bits of sausage chicken cheese all that kind of good stuff again we're going to take the dog out of the crate close the doors of the crate then we're going to toss a couple of treats in through the bars and then open the crate and let the dog go in this is where you can introduce a cue as well if you want so you can say into bed They'll go in, close the door as they're eating their two or three treats. Once they finish the last treat, open the door and call them out again. Repeat that two or three times, and then what you want to do is increase that as well. So put your couple of treats in, open the door, into bed, close the door behind them, let them eat those couple of treats. Once they finish, give them another treat. Keep them the door closed. Once they finish that, give them another treat. Once they finish that, give them another treat and then open the door and tell them out. Make sure that you're letting the dog out of the crate before they start to want to get out of the crate. At this stage where you're doing your in and out training, you can increase the amount of time between treats um, slowly but surely, making sure that you're staying beside the crate at all times. Once you've built that up and the dog is happy to stay in the crate for their entire bowl of dinner, one by one, um, then what you wanna do is you wanna move on to the chilling in crate stage. So stage two is where we get the dog going in and out of the crate. So what we want to do is toss the treats in, let her go and get them, and then let her come straight back out again. Good girl, Maggie Moo Moo. Good girl. So put a couple of treats in so that it takes them, you know, a good five, ten seconds to finish up so that you have time to let them go in, close the crate door, and then call them back out again. 
So we have five little ones here. Look, they're in the bed. Now, good girl. Now Meg, into bed. Good girl, close that. Let them get all the treats and then when they're nearly finished the treats, you can call them back out again. Good girl, okay. So you'll repeat the first stage several times. In, out, in, out, in, out, telling her into bed. She goes in, gets the treats, close the door, open it, let her back out again. And then this time you're moving on to the next stage. So what I'm gonna do is put her in, um, let her eat the treats that are in there. And then while she's still in there, when the treats are gone, I'm gonna slowly but surely offer her an extra one, an extra one, an extra one, while she's staying in there calmly. So sit, good girl. Then make into bed. Good girl. So she's going in, having the treats that are in there. There's another one there, so I'm waiting for her to find it. Good girl. Now she's still in there, so every now and again, I'm gonna give her an extra one while she's staying calm. You've done this as long as you feel the dog's comfortable for, call them out again. Now, okay. Good girl, Which come now. So the chilling in crate stage is where we want the dog to relax and kind of go to sleep inside in the crate. What you want to do here is get a long lasting chewy item. So if your dog um, enjoys stuffed Kongs, get them a stuffed Kong. If they have like a pig's ear or a rawhide or something nice and chewy that will last a long time, you can use that too. What you're going to do is put that inside in the crate, let the dog see it, tell them to sit, open the gate, let them in and close the gate behind. Let them get really stuck into the chewy treat, staying beside them the whole time um, and praising them every now and again, just making sure that they're cool, calm and content. Ideally, what will happen is at the end of the chew, your dog will fall asleep. If they finish their chew and want to come out, provided they're still relatively calm, just praise them, pop a little treat through the bars and let them relax again in their crate. What we want is the dog to fall asleep in the crate so that then we can wake them up and call them out. Chewing again releases dopamine, dopamine calms your dog down, so we want them to be calm. Um, things like a raw hide, things like a stuffed Kong um, or frozen treats as well. You can freeze your stuffed Kong, but this here is a Yogi, so they're yogurts for doggies and it's frozen. So she'll get to have a nice chew on that while she's inside in the crate. Um, you can put as much nice stuff in there as possible so that while she's in there, good things are happening. Uh, you can be sitting beside her doing some work, watching TV, um, but as long as you're beside your dog, they shouldn't get upset. Once they've had their chew, if they get a little bit bored, just reassure them and tell them it's okay and provided they're calm, let them stay in the crate. They'll eventually fall asleep. All the time while you're doing your crate training, you can leave the crate open um, and accessible throughout the day. You'll eventually find that your dog will go into the crate for a little nap. Um, and once they start doing that, you can start using the crate overnight. When you initially start using the crate overnight, make sure that you um, have the crate in kind of a secluded area where there's not that much going on. So you might only have like the end of the hall and then the crate, or you might have the crate inside the utility room. Leave the crate door open, but what you want to do is make sure that the crate is the better choice of the two places to be. It's better to be out of the, inside the crate where it's nice and cozy than outside the crate where they're on top of tiles. What you'll find then is your dog will start sleeping in the crate. Once they're sleeping in the crate, you can then start closing them into the crate overnight. So there are the steps to crate training. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I hope it goes well for you. If you want to watch more dog training videos, you can just subscribe below. And if you want to find out more, you can follow us on Facebook um, on Nancy Creed and Dog Behaviorist. So good luck with your training. Um, let us know how it goes and make sure you go slow and steady. The last thing you want to do is panic that dog in the crate. So slow and steady, lots of fun, lots of treats um, and enjoy the training.